Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about CSS Flexbox Photo Gallery of FreeCodeCam Responsive Web Design. So this will be the basically the website we're going to build, all right? There are some cat photos in here and we're going to learn how can we do this. Okay, so let's start. So basically in this project, we're gonna build that cat photo app, all right, with some images of these cats. And one thing that is important is that we really recommend that you watch this video after you watch the other projects or after you did the other projects. Otherwise, you might get confused with some concepts, okay? So let's just start. Like we always see, when we're starting an HTML file, we need to say what is the type of the file. So basically, we're gonna tell the, the browser what is the file we're gonna build our website. So what is the browser? Is your Google Chrome, your Microsoft Edge, whatever you use to navigate over the internet. So here doc type HTML. Okay, then we're gonna create the HTML tag and here we can say what is the language of the file and here it's HTML, okay? Then we're gonna open up the head part and the head is everything that is not visual so the links we're gonna do for this with the CSS file or the title of the tab and the body is everything that is visual in our code, okay? And then we need to close the HTML tag. All right, here it's saying you couldn't, your code should contain doc type sorry i forgot here the exclamation mark doc type great now the next part we're gonna use this meta tag so basically we're gonna set that our uh our code has this width that it will be responsive so here i'm gonna use this char set equals to utf8 and meta uh name equals to viewport and content equals to what we have in here and we're gonna paste inside let's check great let's continue so now we're gonna give the title of the tab all right so basically here we're gonna use the title and the title of the tab will be this title in here that appears in the tab one in our browser and here we're gonna say photo gallery okay and we also need the link so now we're gonna connect with our styles.css so here here we're gonna see re uh, relation is style sheet and the href so the file we want to do this link is the styles.css okay so now we're gonna add a header element in our body okay and we're gonna give a class header so header class equals to header all right and inside this header we're gonna have an h1 so basically an h1 is just a title for the page and here for example if i put hi we're gonna see here the message hi and why is h1 h1 means that is the most important part here we have six types of heading and i'm gonna change in here and i'll show you the difference so basically if i change here for number two three four five or six we can see that the title becomes smaller because it's less important in the page so basically the heading will be the title will be a heading for our website okay in this case we just want an h1 and we want this message css flexbox photo gallery so instead of hi we're gonna replace with the css photo gallery okay now let's go to the next one now inside of the header we're gonna create a new div and we're gonna assign the class gallery and in this gallery we're gonna add nine images so after the h1 i'm gonna have a div and i'm gonna give class equals to gallery and inside of this div i'm gonna assign nine images so here i'm gonna assign nine images okay so i'm just copy and paste nine times right now we're not gonna see anything but soon we're gonna see these images working so basically here yes we forgot to give the class uh gallery sorry so it's not inside we're gonna add after the header great so here after the header we're gonna put this div okay so now it's 
Correct. And so we're going to see what, how this div work. Basically, every image we need a source. OK, so the source will tell what is the image we want to display. So we use SRC and this will be the link address for the image we want to display. So if I do control V here, it will appear this this cat image right now. And we're going to insert the image for all of the cats we want to work. OK, basically, the other ones they're telling us that should be the same. But instead of number one, it's going to be number two, three and so on so here i'm gonna copy this and i'm gonna paste in every image but changing the number two one for two here we have the second image now the third source i'm gonna put here number three the fourth source i'm gonna put number four the fifth source i'm gonna put number five the then so on and we will see in a bit So now let's take a look. Basically, we added nine pictures and we're gonna see here nine pictures of cats, okay? So far, they are not the way that we want. They are not uh, displayed in the way that we want, but we can see the images, okay? Let's go to the next step. Now we're gonna create a box model using the star. So basically, the star will get all the page, okay? It will set the kind of the main property. So basically, we're gonna say star and we're gonna create a box sizing. We're gonna use the box sizing property and we're gonna give the value border box. And let's see what happens here. If we do this, now we can see that we have now this kind of a margin in here, right? Before we didn't have, let me remove, before we didn't have this margin, but now if we add, we can see this margin here. Actually, we can barely see the difference, but we're gonna see in a bit when we're changing some things. Now we're gonna work with the image. So basically we want to set the width of 100%, but we want to give a max width. So for example, in this case, we want to select 350 pixels. Okay, so it will be not too big. So basically we're going to use the dot gallery. So we mean that we want to change the size of all the images inside the gallery div. So basically we're going to change the size of the image of all these images we have in here. Okay. And in this gallery image, we want to set width of 100%. Okay. Max width. So 100% now we can kind of resize to cover every, all the width we have here available. The max width here, we're going to set 350 pixels and now it shrink a little bit okay it will be a hundred percent if we shrink the page but if we expand it will set to 350 pixels and also we want to set the height so here the height will be 300 pixels okay so now the height of all of them are the same but some of them are not the way that we want right they are kind of weird but we're gonna change then the body we want to change the font family we want to change the font family of this and we want to change the background color so we're gonna use body here and now we're gonna say font family to sans serif and now we can see here changing the, the font family and we want to change the background color to this color that it's using hexadecimal values if you don't remember the different types of color you can use this different systems of colors you can use check our video about css color markers all right because we kind of explain all the different systems we have and now we have this kind of gray this gray background in our image here it's saying oh we also need to set the margin to zero so here margin we're gonna set to zero okay so we don't have margin anymore so now we're gonna change here this to all uppercase and we're gonna change we're gonna give some padding some background and some color all right and also we're gonna change everything to uppercase using this text transform so we're gonna use the dot header because this is the div where we contain the header okay and if we do here text transform and then we do uppercase we're gonna see here now that everything is uppercase all right and we can do lowercase as well and it will change everything to lowercase okay then we want uh, to give a padding so here we're gonna say padding 32 pixels now we have this padding in here like you can see we have a space around then we want to set the background color to this hash 
A0A23. Great, it's black. And we want to change the color of the text. So we just use color hash FFF and it will be white. All right, to finish, we're going to add this border bottom. So we're going to have one border only in the bottom. That will be for pixel solid and this color that we're seeing 